The Barn and the Book Chapter 8 Part 2 Grace stared at Macrina, round-eyed. This was a side of the event she had not thought about at all. Maybe she should rewrite her story for the monastery book. How could they print a story where a nun's feelings got hurt and nobody noticed? I didn't think of that, said Grace. Sister Anna didn't say anything to us the next week. She just let us sit on the rug, and she told us a Bible story and let us color a picture. Macrina slid off the bench and picked up her tray. I'm going to find Sister Anna right now. If I had known all that, I would have talked to her at class today. Grace felt uneasy. Do you think she wants you to talk to her? Macrina paused. What do you mean? You weren't there, said Grace, struggling to put her uneasy feeling into words. You didn't run after the goats. Of course I didn't. If I had been there, I would have stayed in class and helped her keep the other kids from running. But if you say that, she will know people are talking about when we ran away, said Grace. What's the matter? Are you afraid you're going to get into trouble? asked Macrina. You said we should think of Sister Anna's feelings, said Grace in a small voice. So? So, do you think it will hurt her feelings that you found out what happened? Oh. Macrina set her tray down again and stood still, frowning, tapping her fingers on the edge of the table. Are you going to tell? asked Grace after a moment. I should, said Macrina huffily. She picked up her tray. But I need to think about it. Grace watched Macrina walk over to the counter where dirty dishes were placed. Macrina set her tray down and sorted her dishes into the bins, silverware in one bin, cups in another, plates and other dishes in the last. Suddenly, Macrina whirled around and came quickly back to Grace. They must know already, said Macrina, dropping down onto the end of the bench. Sister Catherine saw you, and Sister Anna probably told Eurantissa. Grace looked doubtful. I guess so. And still, none of you got in trouble. Nobody said anything. Nope. That doesn't make any sense. Grace thought for a minute. The nuns are nice. Maybe they didn't mind that we went outside. Maybe they could understand. Macrina shook her head. It's not about being nice. What would happen if everyone just ran out of Sunday school whenever they felt like it? Grace had no idea. Macrina stood up, still shaking her head. It's not right. It shouldn't have happened. Grace looked up at Macrina's disapproving face. Somehow, this was not how she had imagined the conversation going. I'm going to find my parents, said Macrina. She walked away. Grace leaned her chin on her hand. She sighed. What was that all about? asked Elias, scooting down the bench and coming to a stop beside Grace. I told Macrina about running after the goats, said Grace with another long sigh. What did you do that for? Elias snickered. I bet she flipped out. I thought she would talk to me if I said something interesting. Ah, uh, don't worry about her, Gracie. Be friends with the people who like you for yourself. Elias grinned at her, then jumped up. Come on, I heard the parents are doing a job we actually get to help with today. Really? Grace leaped out of her seat. Is it paint? Wait for me, Elias. I can help. I don't think it's paint, but you can help do whatever it is. Elias waited while Grace took her tray to the dirty dishes counter. Then together they ran outside. The families had gathered outside and Sister Catherine was there. As Elias and Grace joined the group, Sister Catherine led the way down the path toward the building that housed the nuns' quarters and the guest house. What are we doing, asked Elias, tapping the arm of a nearby mom. We're making beds and laying out towels in the guest rooms, so they'll be ready for all the families to stay here next week on Christmas Eve, she said, smiling kindly at Elias and Grace. Christmas Eve, shouted Grace joyfully. Are you coming, asked Elias. We are. Of course we're coming. Grace hopped and skipped. She stopped and caught Elias's arm. Elias, I wonder if Sam will come. He's coming, said Elias. He's coming with his parents, my mom told me. Do you think he will go in the barn? asked Grace, lowering her voice. Go in the barn? What for? For the animals. You remember. Like you told him. Oh, you mean to hear the animals talk at midnight on Christmas Eve? Grace nodded vigorously. I don't know. Won't he be asleep? Maybe he could stay awake. 
Maybe I could stay awake. I want to go too. Elias shrugged. I don't think your parents are going to let you go in the barn in the middle of the night. Grace thought that was probably true. Maybe when I'm older, she said. If you still want to do it when you're older. Why wouldn't I want to do it when I'm older? asked Grace. Maybe you will, said Elias. It just seems like when people get older, they stop trying to find out about stuff anymore. Grown-ups just go to bed at night. They finally get old enough to boss their own life, and what do they do? They just go to bed. Every night? Elias nodded. As far as I can see. Grace frowned. But if they all go to bed every night, how do we know the animals talk at midnight on Christmas Eve? Elias shoved his hands in his pockets and hunched up his shoulders. I guess we don't, he said sadly. 